Robert, I, I believe so, and I want to dive in with Anthony, okay? Because, and, and I also preface this by saying, it's also reliant on the fact that everyone else in the lineup yeah. is scuffling. Yeah, when okay? you're, as a catcher, when you're looking at a lineup, and you're talking about who we're going to pitch to that day, you're going over the, the game planning with the, the coaching staff, the front office, whoever it is, whoever's going over that with you, the run prevention team. You're talking about the guys you don't want to yeah. be, let beat you that day. It hasn't been anybody else for months watching, other than this guy. Watching the entire weekend, he scored every run against Tampa Bay Rays. Okay, listen, I'm going to preface this. The game's super hard. I wasn't that good at it. I get it. You were pretty good at it. I get it. <laughs> Bring the lineup up, please. Because this is what the Minnesota Twins, you're trying to win a division title right here. And this is what's in the lineup presently. Got it. MVP, former MVP, all-star, all of it. But they're not that right now, okay? He's coming back from an Achilles. Looks like he might have re-aggravated it again. He was 4 for 35 coming into this game. Donaldson is not 2015 AL MVP, Josh Donaldson. I think he would admit that to you. Glaber's underachieved. Trevino's had, an, had a great start, but hasn't been 683 OPS since August 1st. Okay, the reason I bring this up is if I'm the Minnesota Twins and I'm tied for with the Cleveland Guardians trying to win this division, I got the White Sox in my rearview mirror. We can't let this can't guy do. beat us. Let's get into Aaron Judge. I'm sitting here watching this game take place. You go down 2 0, and then Gary Sanchez hits a huge home run to get you back in the game 2 2. And in a big spot, I'm going to take you through this A-B right here. This is Trevor McGill. Big time stuff. Slider down and away. Gets a call right there, right on the corner. Tries to go heater in. Doesn't, doesn't execute the pitch. I liked it, though. Right yeah. back outside. Aye. All right. Pause this for yes, me. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. I was going to say, Bring it, that's bring the it to the clean frame, though, because I want to see the count and everything. Pause. I get it. Man on first, nobody out. Got it. Who's hitting behind him? Stanton, who's scuffling. Donaldson, who's scuffling. And Trevino, who's hitting three spots too high in the order. Yeah, absolutely. Okay? Yeah. That's just the reality of it. How do you let this guy? Yeah. You, can't, you can't throw a strike here. 3-1, he's looking to change the game right now. Yep. That's, I, he's either. going to. It's 100%. just the way it looks right now. So the pitch before, he missed. Arm side. Yeah. With that slider. As soon as I see that as a catcher, I'm thinking to myself, okay, okay. He tried to do too much right there. And that was 2-1. 3-1. Mm -hmm. We know what this guy does. We've talked about it. Yep. Against fastballs and breaking balls all year. If you leave it middle, it's gone. It's gone. It's damage. I just saw him leave one arm side. He has to make one heck. He made two great ones early in the AB. Yes, he did. Boom. And then do, or down and away for a ball. And then, boom, spotted one up to get it to 1-1. One, one. Went with the heater in. I like that. That's good. You're trying to set him up. Then he missed with one. And he tried to, tried to do too much. So, at times, as a catcher, you got to know your pitcher. Okay, in this situation, can I trust him to make the adjustment? And this is nothing against Trevor McGill. But in this situation, I have to know if I throw him a slider, it's, it's, it's here. Be off the plate. It, it's a ball. It's not even – we're not even trying to throw that 1-0 yeah. that nasty slider he threw. We're trying to get this – we're trying to bury it and hope, hope that he goes out of his zone. And exactly. Starts. And if not, walk him, Stanton potential double yeah. play, Donaldson potential double play. And my thing with him is – pause this. Run that back again. Ugh, center cut. Pause it. My thing with him is – Cameron Mabin did a great job of talking about him saying, and, and we couldn't do this. He sits in between. Yeah. He can handle the heater and push it dead out to right and kind of sit. What does that mean to sit in between? It means usually in a 3-1 count, you are all in on a fastball middle and everything's timing up for that. And if you don't see it, you're spitting on it, What no matter what. Or you're sitting all off speed and if you don't see it, you're spitting on it. He's sitting almost like, well, if he throws the heater, I could rush you there. And if he throws the slider, I can rush you there. He's in a tree. It's a timing mechanism. It's He's a timing on fire. Yeah. He's Barry Bonds right now. You can't make this mistake and try and win a division. I'm sorry. 3-1 right here. Just a cement mixer middle of the plate.
I'm sitting there watching now. It's like, I know you can't put four fingers up, and I know you can't do the whole Barry Bonds treatment, but golly, how do you, how do you, you? right? How do you sleep? How do you get on the bus and go back to the hotel and grab a, grab dinner? Knowing Aaron Judge is beating me again. And this is talking about sitting in between. 3-2 count. Nick Pavetta, he's always elevated a high heater in certain situations. Now we're going to sit mm. in between, and I can pull you. I don't have to cheat to anything because I've been completely locked in since day one of the season. And I'm going to show you 3-2. Taiwan Walker tries mm. to go heater. That, I was screaming at the TV on that one. Why? Why would you throw him a strike right there? Look at Three, two. Boom. Fastball middle. And I just go back, and, and we'll get out. I want, know you want to do Rio Muto. Buck Showalter walked Barry Bonds with the bases loaded. Okay? In 1998, and everyone freaked out. But Bucks, I'm not, I'm not saying every manager should do this or would do this, but he's saying, I couldn't live with myself. If he hits a granny. And he, two outs, bottom nine, he put the winning run on second base. Yeah. Basically. And if we lose the game because someone else beats me that day, then so be it. I can live with it. But I can't live with you. And if you're looking at the Yankees right now, until someone proves they can cover him, he can't beat you if you're going to win. And this is crazy. The difference in wow. home run totals. 1928 Babe Ruth. <laughs> the difference is 23. I mean, Aaron Judge to Kyle Schwarber. Eight, it, it's... What a monumental season. Uh, no, to bet on himself and do what he's done. It's not just power Good either. God. He's doing it. He's got an average on base percentage. He's center. Guys, uh, yeah, he's playing center field. 6'7", 280. He could be a tight end <laughs> for the Giants or Jets next, week, we, awesome, next weekend if awesome you wanted to. Awesome stuff.